Hi, everyone. Welcome back. You're still with us here on the Sea Morning Show, and it's time for our one of our favorites <laughs> and signature segment, Book Talk. So yep. I'm here with Marissa, obviously, because <laughs> you are a staple of Book Talk. I want to ask you, what book are you currently reading? I feel like I have to ask you, the answer could change on a daily basis. So what are you reading today? Yes, well, what, what, I'm, what am I reading today? I know, it's like I read uh, multiple books at the same time, but this book I got about two years ago, so I'm reading this book. It's called, This Book Could Fix Your Life. Yes! So this is by the science writer Helen Thompson. It is a science-based self-help book that is released in 2022. So Thompson covers practical advice on various aspects on daily life, such as how to worry less, how to be happier, gain confidence, live longer, or even how to find lasting love. So the book delves into the science of self-help and is packed with evidence-based tips and experiments that you can try yourself. It is an easy and insightful read. There you go. How about you, Paul? Okay, so do you, do you sometimes do that? You get a book, but you don't have to read it like right away. You yeah. Gotta keep it on the. Oh my gosh, I have so many. Okay, I don't <laughs> feel bad now because my recommendation. Yeah. <laughs> I actually started this months ago, and I right. had to stop because the NBA playoffs happened. I had to watch basketball every every day, <laughs> right. basically. It just ended, so I picked it up again. Right. So I feel like I I probably was reading this the last time we had book talk, right. but I'm glad to be able to pick it up again. It is yeah. called Homo Deus: A Brief History of Tomorrow. It's yeah. by Yuval Noah Harari. I was. Yeah. Recommended his first book, *Sapiens*, and I, I saw this one. I thought, hey, I should read the second part of this. The book examines instead of the past, our future. Mm. So it blends a little bit of science as well, yep. history, philosophy, and every discipline in between, which offers us a possible vision of tomorrow that at first might seem a bit weird and incomprehensible, <laughs> hard to believe, but it may become undeniable after a while. The way right. he puts a lot of reasoning into it and makes you kind of believe, wow, maybe it could happen. After so it's a little bit bleak. It is a bit bleak for me. I find that, oh my gosh, is this really what's in store for us for the future? Right. But if you have read Sapiens, it kind of already lays the, the steps the, along the way that, yeah. well, if that's what's happened so far, then uh -huh. this is possibly where we're going to head. Ooh. Ooh. But we're also excited about this book, by yes, the way. This is by Henry Manampiring. Yeah, front of the program as well. Welcome back, Henry. Thank you, thank Good you. Good to have you here, and congratulations yes. on your new book. Thank so you. it is called uh, Blajar Marketing, Blajar Hidup. Yes. Learn marketing, learn life. Okay. There you go. All right, so let's talk about your book. Tell us about it. Is, I feel like you've uh, only, it only took you a few months to do this. But Six months. Oh Six my yeah, gosh. Yeah. You're such a prolific writer, Henry. You just had him on Book Talk Amazing. not so long ago. To, yeah. Yes. <laughs> So um, the book is, if I may call it, it's a hybrid oh, okay. of marketing mm -hmm. slash self-help. Which is your background, mm -hmm. right? Marketing. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, because I've been doing marketing and advertising for 25 years, but wow. I always avoided writing about it. Okay. <laughs> right. Until why, now. Why did you avoid it? A uh, good question, yeah. because I always thought that, what can I add to the discipline? I mean, there are oh. plenty of marketing books out there already, mm -hmm. right? I mean. What can I add? There's whole sections on it. Right. Yeah, <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. Until last year, the idea yeah. came to me that, hang on, maybe I can combine uh, marketing and uh, self-improvement. Yes. Because I can see some parallels. Yeah. Uh, certain things or principles that benefit brand or business can also mm -hmm. benefit you as a person. Now, this is interesting because the first chapter is semua orang adalah pemasar. Everyone is a marketer. Okay. What do you mean by this? <laughs> <laughs> so I, I use this as an illustration. Yes. If you live by yourself, if you are completely self-sufficient, you mm -hmm. grow your own food, you don't need money, you don't need other people, then you don't need marketing. Right. Because okay. you are self-sufficient. Yes. Okay. But as long as you need other people, you need your boss, you need your employer, mm -hmm. you need your customer, you need your audience, mm -hmm. you need marketing. Mm -hmm. Because in the end, what is marketing? Marketing is about persuading the other parties mm -hmm. to allocate their resources to you, right? True. It can be investing in you, it can be paying attention to you, mm -hmm. their love maybe, speaking about love life, right? <laughs> Convincing <laughs> others to marry me. <laughs> Marketing That's yourself marketing. to a possible That's spouse. That's marketing involved. Yeah. So, there you go. <laughs> That's so interesting because I immediately want to go to Bab Tujuh or Chapter 7 because you mentioned <laughs> about <laughs> that the strategy to find your soulmate oh, your soul or your, <laughs> your loved one or your soulmate. Yeah. So, how do you apply marketing principles <laughs> to finding a soulmate? How? <laughs> Just like how brands can grow and acquiring yeah. new customers. Right. So in, in marketing, there is this principle called reach. Reach. Reach principle. Okay. If a brand wants to grow, it has to reach out to new people. Okay. So people who don't currently use your brand, right? I mean, they cannot satisfy themselves by, 
I'm just gonna talk to my existing customer. Mm. It's not gonna work. Mm. Uh, first, they are already using your brand, yeah. and, and secondly, naturally, some of your customer will uh, will switch mm. to, to other brand. Yeah. That's why I keep talking to more people because those new people eventually you hope that they can shift their attitude and convert them into customers. Mm -hmm. And isn't it the same with you know finding your love life? I mean, a lot of people think that. I'm just gonna hang around and sit until God gives me my life my partner. Jodo, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't so work that way. Someone comes knocking on your door, right? <laughs> right? It doesn't work that way. If you keep uh, having the same social circle, mm -hmm. the same people over and over again, mm -hmm. you don't meet new people, how, you know, how do you increase the chance of yeah. finding your partner? Yeah, yeah. So go out there, be active. Which is harder for introverts like me, actually. Yes, yes. <laughs> Yeah. How do you relate? I mean, when it comes to marketing, I immediately think about, you know, marketing ad agencies when they have a client, mm. there is a certain product, and then it's your job as the agency to find the best strategy. For example, if you have a soft drink, well, what's your market? You have to appeal to a certain crowd. When we are the product ourselves, how do we, how do you help us discover what it is the best strategy for us and yeah. who our quote unquote market is. Yeah. I mean, is this part of what you're you're gonna help yeah. us do in this book as well? Yeah. yeah. And and you are right, I draw a lot of inspiration from working in an advertising agency. Sure. Yes. And actually the first question is is not jumping straight to, you know, what kind of people that you want to appeal to. Okay. It's actually go back to the basic, the product itself. Okay. Yes. Us. What is it? Yeah. What do you offer? How yes. is it different from your competition? Yeah. So uh, likewise with uh, with us, right? Yeah. You start from within. Mm. Like, do you even know yourself? Do you know what is your competitive edge? Do you know what what will make you memorable yes. in, in the sea of, of other people? Yes. That's the start before we are talking about, okay, how do you talk to yeah. people? How do you persuade them? Yeah, so that is related to the this uh, chapter is actually uh, chapter eight, where you write here, staying authentic to yourself. How yes. do we find, especially now we're in this uh, undeniable digital era, we expose our sh ourselves on social media, and the problem with social media is that sometimes people create an identity that is the total opposite of themselves, right? Mm -hmm. So how do we face this? We have this problem. But at the same time, we're trying to find our authentic self so we know the product that we're selling, right? What's your process? Because let's face it, a lot of marketing out there is just kind of like yeah. fluff, right? There is that, there is that as well, right? Yeah, a lot yeah, of people yeah, market sure. themselves, yeah. like Instagram, for example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What we see is not necessarily what the People don't is. even <laughs> talk like normal people anymore. Exactly. They have to talk like this. Hi, we're currently <laughs> talking about marketing and also love life. Yeah. We're uh, we're doing book talk. I was just like, wow, no, we don't talk like that. No. So how do we find our authentic <sighs> self in this era? Oh dear. Uh, I think my, my answer to that would be uh, from sustainability perspective. What's that? Meaning meaning that if you how long can you pretend? How long can how, you how, pretend? How long can you become someone else? Interesting. Uh, eventually it will tire you out. Mm. Right? Uh, so if you want to be authentic, then first find things that, you know, make you happy and comfortable uh, sustainably. Mm. You know that you are in the zone. If this is what I do, this is what I read, this is my music, or this is how I talk, yeah. uh, which I can do comfortably for a long time, and, and that's it. That's your authentic zone. Yeah. You can you can try to be pretentious mm. and, and see how long before yeah. you are tired or you get found out. <laughs> I think eventually, oh, yeah, eventually, yeah. eventually. You'll, get, you'll get discovered. <laughs> you get discovered, right? Yeah, once you get discovered, you can't sell the product anymore because people don't have the trust, Correct. right? Correct. So is it short term? You want short term gain or you want long term gain? Interesting. Very fascinating. And in the later chapters, you're actually speaking of long term, short term gains. You do relate this to business in a way as well. <laughs> yes. Okay, that part confused me because obviously we haven't gotten a chance to read through the book yet. You actually even mentioned things like profit and startup. How does that relate to <laughs> Us as a product. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I, I specifically wrote about uh, a startup because, yeah. I mean, right now, as you know, uh, we are experiencing the tech winter, right? Or the sure. startup winter. Yeah. A lot of layoffs happen. Yes, yes, correct. And a lot of laymen out there asking, what's mm. happening? I thought all these brands are so flashy mm -hmm. and huge. What, what's, what's going on? Mm -hmm. And it, it goes back to the uh, to their to their core business operation, right? Mm. We know that a lot of uh, startups are actually on crutch. 
you, you know when, yeah. when I said crutch, crutch is the operation itself is not profitable. They yes. are still incurring loss, and the only reason they still exist is because there's investor money Capitalist yeah. venture capital. giving them crutch. Yes. Right. And they burn the crutch sometimes. <laughs> and sometimes, yeah. Burning they, money. Yeah. Correct. Mm. And sometimes the investors just cannot do that anymore. Yes. I'm sorry, we're gonna take the crutch away. Boom, the, 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 the business uh, collapse. Mm. So in the late, later chapter, I was talking about how can you live your life, mm. ideally, mm. unlike the startups. Okay. How can you be can you avoid that? more independent? Mm. How can you have a lifestyle mm. That is actually not based not on loans, you know, pinjo or, you know, live within your means because those things will sustain you longer. Mm -mm. Even I talk about starting a marriage. Like when when you are entering a marriage, uh, where is it? Are you too able to sustain, or are you still, you know, actually you are not yet ready uh, to start a family? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, you're still relying on 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 parents yeah. or, or other people. Yeah. Maybe not advisable to start a family if you are, you know. So I call it the startup marriage. Avoid startup marriage. Right. <laughs> Try to do the conventional way. I'm starting to see, by the way, I'm starting to see how this all links because yeah. going back to things like social media, I see a lot of people flexing, quote unquote, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, products and things in order to sell a certain image of them. And then when they actually get a spouse, it's like, wait, are you, are you going to be able to sustain that? Because if yes. you, those products or those things you're showing aren't yours or you can't afford them, yeah. then you're unable to sustain that. And I guess that's, what, that's how it comes full yeah. circle. Oh, yeah. Makes perfect sense. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And also about presence here. Chapter 13, mm. mental and physical availability for the people in our lives. I mean, how does that connect to marketing I mean yeah it's actually a marketing principle so, oh is it yeah, yeah, yeah. So mental, mental and physical availability, availability. that's yeah, yeah. A marketing principle yeah, yeah, yeah. those two are, are very key uh, that's principles. cool so it's basically saying if if a brand wants to survive or to yes. increase yes uh, first it has to maintain mental availability in the customer's mind look out of sight mm. out of purchase right that's true out of, sight, out of mind as well out of, out of sight out of mind yeah. out of mind becomes out of Purchase. Yes. Right. So that's why uh, brands should be uh, communicating consistently, mm. advertising consistently, or making news consistently. Mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. Elon Musk doesn't advertise, right? Mm. But he keeps making yeah. <laughs> He's there all the provocative time. Yeah. statement, right? <laughs> right. Controversial ah. ones. This mental availability remains remains high. Sure. Ah. But that one is alone is not enough. The product has to be physically available. Right. Physically available means that when people are interested to buy, yeah. they better find it easily. Yes. Right. Right. Oh, yes. I want to buy these shoes, but yes. I search in the uh, uh, in the mall, they cannot find them, yes. or in e-commerce, they cannot find it. Then mm -hmm. lost sales. So if you apply to us as a human being, yes. we need to be mentally available to those who matter to us, obviously, yeah. right? Not and to also everyone. also physically. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the importance of keeping in touch, saying mm -hmm. hi once in a while oh, with your ex-colleagues, your ex-teachers maybe, your ex-boss. <laughs> you know, let them remember you. Yeah. Because you will never know how it will open up new opportunity. No, that's true actually, because I remember some months ago, I was talking to my best, uh, best friends, right? Mm. And then one of them said to me, thank you for investing the time uh -huh. to be here. Because yeah. it is a time time investment, you know, to yeah. tie in the relationship, to continue to have a strong relationship. And I'm like, girl, you're right. Yeah, yeah. I think this is what we're talking about. To be right? available. Yeah, 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 to be available. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. apart from obviously, the, we we know that the main goal of a book like a book like this is just creating better people, just making people better. Mm. But uh, what is your underlying message uh, through <laughs> this book? Because you did mention earlier in our conversation that, you know. In an ideal world, we wouldn't have to market ourselves. We would all just be self-sustainable. Um, is there a larger goal in mind that you hope people will have? Uh, especially now we see so much, like I said, fluff and all of these platforms that allow us to be our fake selves as opposed yeah. to being genuine like Marissa mm. Actually, the first intended readers for this book is um, students, college students who are studying marketing. <laughs> or, or, or first jobbers, uh, yeah. you know, people who just start their career, whether yeah. in marketing or they're interested in marketing. Mm -hmm. uh, that's actually the, the, the primary uh, audience first, you know, to, to have them a renewed yeah. appreciation of the marketing field. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but to the general readers, because it's also a self-improvement book, mm -hmm. uh, is I think 
to find ways to be more effective. I, I'd rather use the word effective rather mm -hmm. than meaningful because nice. meaningful then takes us to more philosophical realm. Yes. How do you want to be more effective, right? Yeah. Uh, as a spouse, as a friend, as as a professional, mm -hmm. right? You want to advance your career, You yeah. it takes marketing skills. It does, it does. Yeah. It does. So there are little things in life, if you want to progress, if you want to advance, mm -hmm. uh, if you want to win in the competition mm -hmm. in, in, in a positive way, uh, you can benefit from certain marketing principles. Yeah. yeah. So that's the idea. Totally. I think this is a brilliant book, Henry, yeah. because you're combining both. I mean, like you can learn two things at the same time yeah. and actually make connections between the two. I'm actually super interested in reading yeah, this same. because I know nothing about marketing, mm. but I love the philosophical take, of course, from all of your books. So thank you so much for writing this hey, book. Thank you. <laughs> You like it, so I have many friends in the ad agency world, and I know a lot of uh, how things work, and I'm very interested to see how it relates to our daily lives. Henry, congratulations again. On Thank you very book. much, Paul. And we know that you're already hard at work on your next one, so we look forward to having you back again real soon. Thank you for having me. All right, there you go, guys. Uh, that was uh, Belajar Marketing, Belajar Hidup, Learn Marketing, Learn Life. We will take a short break here on the C Morning Show, but we have more updates for you when we return. Stay with us.